Welcome back to Ignited Mercy. We are preparing for Easter. Just yesterday, we we went through uh, Good Friday. We remembered the passion and the death of our Lord. And I wanted to make this episode about, yes, looking towards Easter, but looking with a grateful heart, with a thankful mind and an attitude and spirit. And I thought the best way to be grateful is to know how much it costs Jesus to redeem us. When I come to Easter Sunday Mass, I want to know. I want to know that I can be grateful for all that my beloved Jesus went through so I can come to Mass, so I can have Him in the Eucharist and celebrate that one day, through His grace, I'll be with Him in Heaven forever. So I have for you a little bit of entry um, 182, 85, and 86. So this is Faustina trying to do a holy hour. And she says, during this hour, I try to meditate on the Lord's passion. But my soul was filled with joy. And suddenly I saw the child Jesus. So I, I picked this entry because meditating in the passion of the Lord it doesn't have to be full of sorrow and pain and sadness. I feel like inviting you to meditate on that, to feel sad and, and, and just uh, full of pain, it might not be the best way to wait for Easter. But in here, Festina says, I wanted to meditate on the Lord's passion. I wanted to be there, you know, present and, and pray and, and enter into his sorrow. Yet her heart was filled with joy and baby Jesus came to her and she says his majesty penetrated me to such an extent that I said Jesus you are so little and yet I know that you are my creator and Lord and Jesus answered me I am and I keep company with you as a child to teach you humility and simplicity so Take some time, meditate in the passion of the Lord. It would be the ideal scenario for Him to teach you whatever lesson it is that you need. It would be the ideal scenario for Him to teach me whatever lesson I need to learn. But we just need that space. We need that connection with Him. And this is the time where even the church is asking us to meditate on the passion of the Lord. But I don't want this to be some something sad and, and gray. In the contrary, Easter is tomorrow, right? And when, when I meditate on the passion of the Lord, I'm going to think about how much He loves me. And although He was in pain, and although He was in despair, He did it for me because He loves me. And I know that's going to give me such grateful and, and full of gratitude um, heart. So I invite you to do the same. Meditate upon the passion of the Lord and leave it open so that He may teach you the lesson you need to learn. In this case, He taught Faustina about humility and simplicity. Then later on, um, entry 186, Jesus said to me, I desire that you know more profoundly the love that burns in my heart for souls. And you will understand this when you meditate upon my passion. Call upon my mercy on behalf of sinners. I desire their salvation. When you say this prayer with a contrite heart and with faith on behalf of some sinner, I will give him the grace of conversion. This is the prayer. So let's pray together. Entry 186. We're going to meditate on the passion of the Lord. We're going to think of the love that burns his heart as he goes through Calvary to redeem you and to redeem me. And we're going to say a prayer for all our brothers and sisters who might be distracted this Easter. Right? I'm going to definitely say it for me too. I'm going to say it for my family, my parents, my children, my spouse. That whatever lesson we need to learn, that it might come through. That we might open our hearts for whatever Jesus wants to teach us. And the prayer is, O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. 
I leave you with this, and I'll see you next Saturday as we prepare for Divine Mercy Sunday. Thank you. Happy Easter.